Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another video. Here you'll see my uh, Switch console. And uh, while it's a very common occurrence to um, have like drifting issues, I've made a video on that before. Another very common issue is um, the plastic latches that they use to hold the uh, Joy-Con on the sides uh, tend to have problems. Now my left one actually seems fine. My right one is starting to get a little loose. You can actually wiggle it up and down a bit even without unlocking the uh, Joy-Con itself. Normally you're only supposed to be able to push them off if you press the button on the back and then pull it upwards. Now the little plastic mechanism, um, there we go, you can just about see it. Um, that little piece right in there, you can see it going up and down as I push the button. Now that's made of plastic and the rails on these guys are made of um, metal. So obviously there's, um, you know, some issue with the plastic being less resilient than the metal. So that's going to be the first thing to give. Now, you can actually buy pretty cheaply on um, eBay and Amazon and a bunch of other sites, AliExpress and whatnot, these metal replacement uh, locks. And these will basically, you know, last much longer than the original plastic one. So even though I don't have a problem with mine yet, it's kind of only a matter of time of sliding it in and out. That I'm gonna have an issue, so I'm gonna replace them in this video. Now, these two of them only cost me, I think, like 99 cents with free shipping from China, which is ridiculous. It's um, really cheap, so there's kind of no excuse not to do this. Um, they did take quite a while to ship. Um, I think I ordered it like two months ago, and they kind of semi recently just arrived. So, we're going to pop both these open. I'm going to do them simultaneously and we'll get to it. So basically just four screws and we're in. Okay. Now, it's just a matter of there's some clips along the side so you can just get your fingernail in there and um, open them like a book. Now, there are two ribbons attached, so you got to be careful. You can't just yoink them apart. You can rip those and... Uh, they will need to be replaced in that case, but just be gentle with it. And there you go. So we're not going to totally dismantle everything. We actually only need to get access to um, this mechanism here. So to make that easier, there's a, there's a Phillips screw actually uh, on the top of each one. So just one screw and it should open. Okay, there we go. So now the case can completely be, uh, the back of the cases can be removed completely. Uh, we're going to save the buttons there, uh, but we need to take apart this mechanism. Um, and there's one Phillips screw on this um, metal retaining bracket. Now tweezers are going to help. Um, so I'll grab my pair here. Um, so yeah, let's just get the metal bracket off. Okay, now one thing to know is there's going to be a little spring there, so you're going to want to get your finger over there so it doesn't ping off. And um, I'm going to try to lever this up. It should open from where the screw actually went in, that side first. Okay, yeah, these are actually pressed in pretty tightly, so using... Um, these angled tweezers really help. You gotta get underneath there and kind of pry it a little bit. And um, you can actually remove the bracket. And watch out, the spring is gonna wanna come with um, the latch itself. So we're just gonna carefully pull this out. Yep. And the spring is right in there. So we're gonna take our new metal uh, brackets. Going to take the spring and insert it. And this is just going to go in the same orientation. Now, just to give you a um, quick overview, um, the little center peg that's in the plastic one isn't in the metal one. I'm guessing it's too fine of a detail for them to cast. So it's actually not really strictly necessary because it's self-contained within the barrel of the spring, so it's not going anywhere anyway. And you can see everything else is um, pretty much the same in terms of um, 
the dimensions as, as you would expect. Uh, it's just this happens to be made out of metal. So we're just going to insert this spring. And with the finger pointing upwards, we're going to start feeding it in. Making sure that the spring aligns correctly. There we go. Just goes right in there. And it freely pushes in and out. And then we just want to put this back in. Obviously the hole for the screw has to go downwards where there's the actual um, hole within the plastic. And we're just going to use our fingers to push that back into place. Make sure that the spring and the uh, metal bit is still uh, flexible there. And then we're just going to push, uh, put the screw back in there. Okay, good enough. Now, just that single uh, silver screw has to go back to secure this on the rear case. And then this guy can just close right back up. And four screws and then this is done. Give me a sec, I'm just going to do the same exact process on the other Joy-Con and then I'll get back to you uh, once this is completed. So let's speed through this. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're all back together. All the buttons still feel okay. Uh, one thing to note is um, the original, um, I'm guessing plastic might be just slightly um, thinner in terms of the height. So I couldn't screw the um, that silver metal bracket that goes over the latch. I couldn't screw it very tightly, otherwise I actually... Um, the button doesn't pop up. It kind of gets stuck on, on the metal. So that was one sort of thing. You got to be careful. You kind of have to um, test fit it. And we'll slide these on and see how they feel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's nicer. There's still a little bit of wiggle, but not nearly as much as before on that one. And this one's still solid. So, yeah. Um, all in all, definitely a um, useful thing to at least... You can at least buy them if you don't want to install them now. Buy them and um, just keep them in your parts drawer. And if your plastic ones ever do fail, literally took me 15 minutes to install them. And I'm going to keep the old ones just in case if I ever, if these for some reason ever wear out, I'll at least have spares of the original ones. These still pretty much worked. Um, just were slightly loose anyway. But yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys um, ever intend to um, do this on your Switch, um, it's a quick and easy process and it's pretty darn cheap. So I'll have links down below to where you can get the uh, metal ones and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.